This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and welcome back to JavaScript series. So in this particular video, I'm going to cover one simple topic. In JavaScript, there is one more special feature is there with respect to objects. When we create the object at the runtime, sorry, not at the runtime, you can add more values, okay? You can add more properties. In fact, after defining the object also and outside of the object, you can define some runtime properties dynamically. So this is the dynamic nature of the object. So how to do that? It's a very good concept. I really liked it. And then how to use it. So let's see, I'll create a new file. I simply write dynamic object.js. I'll write it D capital. Okay. So let's see dynamic object.js. I'll do one thing. I'll simply create a, a simple uh, I think simple circle uh, object I'll create like this. So now we are used to it. How to create the object constant circle is equal to this and then define some properties. So let's say I'm defining one property that a radius property and radius should be one. And then I'll create one, one more property. Let's see color should be the circle color should be red color like this. And I'll create one more method over here that okay, hey, let's see log method or uh, yeah, let's see log method I'll create. I don't write anything over here. If you want to write it, you can write it. But this is the different properties. How many properties, radius, color, and log method property I have written over here. Now, if you console.log, you print this circle on the console, you will get the complete, okay, the complete, uh, the design, whatever the different properties are there for this particular circle. So if you run it, I simply write node. You can see that it's having one radius, color equal to red, log is equal to this. I mean, log function is equal to this, like that. I simply write it, right? You can see it over here. Now what I'll do that at the runtime, once this object is created, after that also I can add some properties. So let's see, I'll add some more properties over here. I simply say that, okay, hey, circle, so add more properties in circle object. So I simply write circle dot, okay, circle dot, let's see one property name is price property I'll write. Price is equal to 100. Circle dot, let's see one function I want to add, circle dot draw function is equal to, I'll reuse the function keyword over here. And let's see this function I have added. Remember guys, whenever you're declaring a function inside the object, you don't need to write function keyword. But here I'm coming outside. Here I'm writing outside of the outside of the object. So here we have to write draw equal to function. And then let's see whatever you want to write, you can write it. So let's say I want just don't want to write anything. It's a blank function I have written. In the same line, let's see I have written. Right. So what I'll do, uh, when you created this particular property, that time I was having circle, okay, having all these properties. Make sense? Having all these properties. Now I'll do one thing. I'll just print circle console.log circle once again after adding these two properties. And then you see the difference. So let me clear the screen and then you run it. Now you will see that initially we were having radius, color, red, and one log function. Now after adding these two properties, price and the draw function, you see that we have radius, color, log function, price function, I mean the price variable, price property that we have added 100 and draw a function. Like that also you can simply use it. So what exactly I've done dynamically, I have added two more properties over here like this, right? So tomorrow, if you want to add some more properties, you can simply add it over there at the runtime, you can do it. Now, <clears throat> This is about the adding the property. So after adding the property, let's see, I'm just printing it once again. Now what I'll do, I can delete some properties also. Delete some properties or delete properties. Delete properties from certain object. So how to delete? This is something very interesting. You can use a delete keyword over here, delete. Okay, and what do you want to delete? So delete from circle dot, let's say I want to delete price. Okay, 
I want to delete price and then I'll print it once again. So console.log and then print the entire object once again and then you will see the output. You see that this is the first circle. This is the second circle that after adding pricing and drop and then what I have done, you can see output over here that I have deleted price now. Okay, now in this particular third output, radius is there, color is there, function log function is there and draw function is there, but there is no price variable. The price property is gone, right? Now what I'll do, I'll delete circle dot, let's see the draw function also. I'll simply remove it, delete it, and then you run it again. Okay, or I'll do one thing, I just print it after deleting the price and after deleting the draw also, I'm printing it once again. So let's see, we just clear the console and run it again. Now you see that guys, initially we were having radius, color, log, then adding two properties, price and draw. Then I removed price, so there is no price. Now finally I have removed draw also. Now you can see the draw is also gone from here. So what exactly we're getting, whatever the first time object that we have created, the same object we are getting over here as well, right? So both the prices, I mean, both the properties I have added and then you are removing it and then getting the circle once again. So you can add the properties, you can delete the properties like that, but there is no add method base. So there is no add keyword. You just simply write circle dot price like that. So tomorrow you want to add, let's say some more properties that, okay, uh, let's say I want to add circle dot is uh, present is equal to a true property, a Boolean property I'll be writing, right? Is present, let's see, I'm writing. So it's a Boolean property I'm writing. Now, if you run it again, okay, and then you see, you can see that now having is present true over here, pricing is present true and draw like this. So this is a very good feature is available that this is called dynamic. Okay, the nature, the nature is a dynamic, the dynamic nature of objects. So remember if someone is asking you that, what do you mean by a dynamic nature of object in JavaScript? So yes, at the right time, after creating the objects, you can simply add the properties and you can delete the properties, right? But the how to access all those properties and everything, it will remain same. So let's see if I write console.log over here and then I simply say that, okay, hey, log comma radius, right? Log comma radius. So I simply call this particular function. I mean, I simply say that, okay, hey, uh, console, or I simply write whatever the circle that we have, circle dot log function I'll be calling. So let's see what exactly I'm getting. So simple, okay, log is just a minute. Circle dot log, we have to use it. Log is defined over here. Okay, one second. One second, please. Okay, let's run it again. Now you can see that log one is getting printed. I just actually by mistake, I missed the printing, whatever you want to print. Okay, same thing. And log one is getting printed, the value of radius is one. Right, so simple console dot log, whatever you are printing, you just print it over here like that, simple. So the access part will remain same, but at the runtime you can add dynamically, you can add the properties and you can delete the properties from the object in JavaScript. Okay, so that's all. That's a very simple topic, very small thing, very small concept. Please remember and let me know if you have any issues. Okay, and I hope you guys are enjoying JavaScript series. Why this JavaScript is important guys? Because after this particular series, we will be learning a lot of tools with respect to, you know, uh, automation, uh, protector and all those things. Type script also I'm planning to start. 
So if you know JavaScript, then only you can learn these tools and TypeScript. Because TypeScript is <clears throat> the enhanced version of JavaScript, which supports object-oriented programming. Right, so that's why a lot of tools which are based out of JavaScript, they will be using TypeScript also, just like Protector, just like Cypress. All these tools, they can be used with TypeScript also. So that's why your JavaScript base should be very strong. Then only you can work with, okay, these tools. So that's the main motto guys, to cover all these things, small, small things I'm trying to cover so that you will remember the concept and you will not Okay, you will not hesitate to write the code in JavaScript when you are working with these okay automation tools. Okay, so that's all for this particular video. I hope you guys are enjoying and keep watching the Bean Automation Labs. And please click on the subscribe button if you are liking these videos. Thank you so much.